Belts, you're probably wearing one right now. We've all worn them, but the belt you have sucks for concealed carry. There are a lot of great belts out there in the world. Your belt might be for duty carry, it might be working for a construction site, or it might be holding up your skinny jeans. In my 25 years of carrying a gun, I was never satisfied with what was out there on the market for concealed carry belts. So around 2009, I first started experimenting with different belt designs, different webbing, different buckles, trying to build the optimized concealed carry belt. It took about 12 to 13 years, but finally we were able to put together a belt design that was simple and was optimized for carrying your appendix carry or inside the waistband holster. One of the main issues I ran into with belts designed for carrying a gun is that they were too stiff. So this is an excellent belt for outside the waistband or on the belt carry of guns and other equipment and accessories. It is stiff and rigid by design, but for inside the waistband carry, either appendix or on the hip, you don't need a belt that is this stiff and this rigid. <laughs> on the opposite end of the spectrum are flimsy belts that are too thin. Oftentimes you find these as stretchy belts. Flimsy fashion belts like this don't support the weight of your gear. They might support the weight of your soft skinny jeans, but they aren't appropriate for carrying no, no, a gun. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Another problem for concealment belts is poor buckle design. Big bulky belt buckles don't work well for concealment because they print and they limit where and how you can carry the gun. These big belt buckles are often built as life safety equipment. They're built for clipping into safety gear or clipping into your helicopter. So if you're planning to fast rope into Walmart to buy your milk, these belts are an excellent choice. If you just want to conceal a Glock 19, a big buckle like this is way more than you need. <laughs> Another problem is what do you do with the tail of the belt? On a conventional single prong belt buckle, the tail flops around the outside and can be annoying. Another solution for the tail on most nylon belts is to fold back on itself on a friction buckle and then use Velcro to capture the tail. The result is four to six layers of material that is thick and bulky and takes up a bunch of usable real estate on your waist. Please, no! No! Another issue with a conventional prong buckle is adjustability. You can only adjust based on the pre-positioned holes on the belt. A friction buckle solves that problem, but with most designs, the downside is the added thickness I mentioned before. <laughs> Generally, the way product designers try to solve problems is adding to it. They add features, they add complexity in an effort to try to solve the problem. But typically what happens is the complexity leads to something that is less usable and more difficult for the end user. It might be interesting and cool in the laboratory, but in the real world, it becomes cumbersome and unnecessary. A great example of this is the ratchet belt. Ratchet belts are pretty popular and they work reasonably well, but they are a pretty complex solution to a relatively simple problem. They are still bulky and thick. After many years of designing and using concealed carry belts, we created the Zero Belt. What we wanted to accomplish was a belt that is optimized for inside the waistband carry of a gun. The 1.5x thickness of the Zero Belt is the perfect balance of flexibility and rigidity for all day comfort and concealment. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. The small size of the buckle does not interfere with other gear carried in front. It also contains and hides the tail behind it requiring no Velcro or additional loops. The buckle is also small enough to slip through the pant loops, allowing you to position it anywhere on your waistline. It has easy micro adjustment while wearing your gun. We also make an underbelt version to be used with a duty belt, as well as a heavy version for those who need to carry more weight or equipment. When most people design something, they try to add things to solve problems. Our goal has been to remove as much as possible, and the end result is a belt that does everything you need it to do and nothing you don't. Oh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 has come for me. <laughs> of all the belts we burned, the nasty China ratchet belt is the one that is the most rancid. Don't forget to check out this video on getting the perfect holster fit.